For the last 40 years, civil servants have engaged in business with the government, despite various attempts, even through the constitution, to fight conflict of interest, blamed for the runaway corruption in government. The proposal has faced strong opposition from public service civil groups, saying the salaries and wages of public officers need to be improved fast. The 1972 creed is likely to come under test again, following the recommendations of the Building Bridges Initiative. The report says to deal with persistent corruption in government and improve service delivery, state officers and their spouses will have to be okayed by the Public Service Commission to participate in government tenders. What is ailing us? The economy. Kenya is one of the few countries that you can call a public rally at Uhuru Park on a weekday and it will be full because of unemployment. Let us do something about it. We have started. God bless Kenya and God bless all good people. Thank you. Asante sana. Asante sana, Mwishmiwa Musalia. The BBI report also recommends Nairobi County to be given special status that will place its management under the national government. This is to help the city county regain its status as Africa's diplomatic capital. The document recommends massive investment in infrastructure and social programs for the capital. To deter money laundering, the BBI proposes harsh financial and jail terms to both the laundering institution as well as senior managers who facilitate the vice. This year, more than five commercial banks were slapped with fines amounting to close to a billion shillings for their roles in the NYS scandal. To enhance public participation in reporting corruption, whistleblowers will be given 5% of the recovered money once the proposals are approved. And I appeal especially to the political class. Don't divide these people, they don't deserve it. We are here talking about Masilahiao. We are here talking about their peace. And once we assure them and we give them an enabling environment, these 47 million people are mature enough to elect the leaders that they want. Ours is to enable them to do so. The government will also have to adjust its spending habits to increase its allocation to development. Currently, Treasury allocates about 18% of total budget to development despite the Public Finance Management Act prescribing 35%. The BBI document will now be subjected to a technical committee review where the public will also be given an opportunity to give their input. O'Brien came in for Channel 1 News Hour.